Final home stand of the season for the Buckeyes and tongue-in-cheek, we say that an old friend comes back to the horseshoe because Wisconsin, you know, you haven't faced them, Coach, since 2004. You always know what you're going to get with the Badgers. Well, and the last time we faced them was right here, and we didn't uh, get our job done, and so we were anxious to see if we could settle that score, and, and like, as you say, we hadn't played them, new coaching staff, mm -hmm. a lot of the same things, but uh, I thought they came and did a lot of different things. Uh, in this ball game than they had done all year. Did it make sense to go back in time and look at their tape because you hadn't played them in so long, or did you just look at this year? You know, really, we just looked at this year's. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if some of those little wrinkles they had were from yesteryear or not, but uh, they came, and, and there's no question about it. They shot every bullet they had, every trick play they could come up with, and, and uh, they're a good football team. Well, speaking of yesteryear, we're going to bring out Big Daddy, Dan Wilkinson. Oh, he was special. He was our honorary captain, spoke to our kids at pregame meal, and what a gentleman. And He's moving back here to Central Ohio uh, this summer so his kids can uh, go to school here. Oh, that's a wonderful story there. They all gravitate back. And uh, Moving forward here with the Buckeyes, Brian Hartline with the grab on the first drive. First play of the game, we had a nice comeback route, and then we come back, and they, they were doing in the first drive about what we'd seen them do all year long, playing, filling up the box, uh, playing with a single high safety. Uh, we, then they were blitzing a little bit on third and long. And, and so as we went down the field the first drive, it really was what we had faced, uh, watched them mm -hmm. do all year long. And then they changed quite a bit after that. Well, you were doing what you have done six straight games, scoring on the opening drive to take a 7 nothing lead. Now the defense is going to chase around Tyler Donovan. Well, Vernon Goldston was chasing Tyler Donovan uh, all day long. And then they came up with a fake punt and and, uh, you know, they had good execution because we certainly weren't fooled. Uh, we were right there on the coverage. Uh, great throw. Marcus Freeman was just trailing them by a yard. And, and so they're moving down the field. But the defense did a great job of holding them to three. Yeah, this D uh, certainly does not want to allow a touchdown at home because they hadn't to this point of the season defensively allowed a touchdown. They get a big stop. Now they, they play fast. They play hard and, and uh, forced them to kick a field goal. And, after a big trick play like their fake punt, that's a good job holding them to three. Taylor Melhaff, and that is a 7-3 game right now, and uh, the Bucks' record intact of no touchdowns to that point. Todd Beckman breaking out of the pocket there, some effective runs. You know, he did a good job of when uh, there was nothing there. He stepped up and went, and then we come back with our base power run game, and, and here's Beanie uh, behind some great blocking on that right side, moving along, and then we uh, got stalled a little bit. And uh, A.J. Trapasso banged a heck of a punt, knocked them down inside the 10-yard line. Well, important to note, we hadn't seen that in a while, a punt right. from him. There's no question. We didn't punt all of last week, and, and that was a good one, good field position. So back on defense, and uh, Tyler Donovan back to pass. Vernon Golston introduces himself for the first time. Well, Vernon... Uh, had his way, I think, with uh, with that Wisconsin front, and he's a heck of a player, four sacks, and, and we kept pressure on him all day long. There's Doug Worthington uh, coming up with the sack, and, and our guys fly after the football. Nader Abdallah here just working in the middle, and finally uh, Donovan's going to have to head straight towards him, trips him up yep. short of the line of scrimmage, so that's another sack. Well, our guys were coming after him all day long, but he's a tough kid. I have a lot of respect for Tyler Donovan. Back on offense, this is a third down and three, and Brandon Sane picks up seven for you. Yeah, good job on the little swing screen, and uh, we had seen that uh, teams do that a little bit on third and medium against them, and so we kind of stole that one, and here they are working on the throwback to the quarterback play, and uh, I think that was Larry Grant that sniffed that one out, and a lot of pursuit, and you know we're, we're playing good defense. Yeah, loss of nine on that play, and uh, again, this time Beckman, takes off. This is another huge run. It's a seven-yard pickup, but uh, on first and ten, that leaves you short yardage situations. Well, that's right, and, and uh, here we are stepping up again and through the deep one down the field, and Brian Hartline makes the catch, and now we have a chance to go down and move to 14-3, to three. and unfortunately, uh, you know, we uh, only got it to 7-3. to three. After we complete it there to race mall, we're moving forward. Just a few ticks left on the clock, and we get the field goal and made it 10-3, to which was good to get some points, Certainly. but it would have felt a lot better being 14-3. Well, 10-3, to the count at that point as you go to half with the lead, and, uh, you know, you take points wherever you can. It didn't seem like there were a lot of points left out there on the field. Wisconsin, give them credit. Well, they played good defense. It was a fast first half. Yeah. It seemed like the clock went like crazy, whereas the second half looked like, felt like it took forever. But uh, they did a good job mixing things up. They totally changed their defensive package after that first drive. Uh, 
we made some mistakes, got a penalty on this and that, and uh, just didn't adjust to it as well as we could have, and it wasn't really until the second half that we got uh, comfortable with what they were doing. Uh, 45 yards on the pass to Hartline there. Really the only deep throw all day. Was that their goal, you think? We're going to take away the deep throw because that, that really hurts. Yeah, they, they played a lot more two over one on our wide people than we've seen all year round. And uh, people have felt like they couldn't do that because it would hurt them in stopping the run. And I think they just decided after the first drive that, you know, we were going to be efficient with our pass. They better stop the pass first. And uh, second half we got to the point where that hurt them. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, there was a time there in the second quarter where they had us a little bit out of sync. Well, this thing's falling right in line because in the last five meetings with them, neither team scored more than 24 points. So, so you're at 10-3 right here. You know points are at a premium. Well, they really are. Anytime you can get some points, get them. All right. We're going to get to those second-half highlights a little bit later. We're back with more Buckeye Football Weekly right after this.